everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm so glad you're joining me. I have another card project to share with you. Today we're using the Spellbinders Stencil of the Month Club Kit. Spellbinders has lots of clubs. Um, if you want to check them out, I'll leave links down below. But today we're using the Stencil of the Month Club Kit. It's called the Spring Stencil Background. And this one has a whole bunch of stencils in it. There's four stencils in total and they're all floral themed. Just stunning. This one here is the one we're going to be using today. It kind of looks like it has poppies on it, but I do want to share with you what they look like. It says in here that they're layering stencils, but I don't think that you can layer with them because of the patterns. But this is the one we're going to be using for our project today. I love the look of poppies. We have this beautiful stencil. To me, this is nice and springy and Eastery. There's this stencil that you can use um, on half of your card, or you can layer them like this on your card. And then we have this one that has a window in it. Looks like there's daisies in there. And they also included the negative piece, so if you want to do some masking with it, you have that negative piece. So four stencils, and you can see what I mean when I don't think they're layering, <laughs> but... Um, I think they're all just stunning. So great stash builders. I'm going to put these to the side and I'm going to be stenciling on vellum today. I've been loving the soft look of vellum. So I have a piece of vellum here. I use two pieces. I use two different types of vellum. I have a Spellbinders vellum, which is the thinner side. And then I also, for a thicker vellum, um, I have the Hero Arts Classic Layering Vellum. Today we're using the Spellbinders. And I'm just, I cut a sheet in half. And of course you can quarter it, but I think it's just easier for me to stencil over a half sheet. I thought we'd do some nice bright colors today. I'm using my Pink Brush Studio inks. I have bubble gum. This is Summer Shower and this is Lavender. I thought we'd create a trio of colors over our stencil and I'm just going to use my blending brush for this. So I'm going to try and get each of the individual flowers. So we have a bouquet of color in our background. I chose colors that blended well together. If you want to use a pixie spray, you can. With Spellbinder stencils, that doesn't leave me too much grip around the edges for my grip mat. So that's why I'm just handy, um, using my hand to hold it down. We have our purple. Maybe I should just tape this down. I'm going to go ahead and tape this down. Okay. I want to bring in my blue ink. Again, this is Summer Shower, and we're going to, I should wipe this off. And then I'm going to bring in my Summer Shower ink, and we're going to add some color. And I'm kind of overlapping these colors here. Wipe off my stencil, and I'm going to bring in my pink ink, which is bubblegum. Nice thing is you could do this pattern with any colors. Okay, and I think I'm going to bring back some more blue because the purple and the pink are kind of blending together on my vellum and I really want um, a little bit of contrast between the colors. So let's bring in some more blue. Okay, we're going to wipe off our stencil, and then we get to reveal what it looks like. And I just think that is so pretty. I'm going to use my paper trimmer, and I'm going to trim this down um, so it is an A2 panel. Okay, I'm actually going to keep this piece. We're going to use this for a little bit more die cutting. But we have our panel. I may need to trim a little bit more from it. Okay, I want to create a frame around my panel here. And what we're going to do is take 
our Spellbinders Essential Rectangles. I'm going to take the three largest and then using white cardstock I'm going to die cut out a frame. Okay, so this is what my frame looks like. Now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to use my tape runner. I'm going to add adhesive behind here. I'm going to tack it down. And I kind of like it overhanging on the edges. And you know what? I haven't even showed you this against the, some white cardstock. So here's my card base. When you put your panel against the white cardstock, isn't that so pretty? To me, this is really springy. I'm not going to add any dimension to this. I'm just going to use my tape runner and, and directly adhere this to my card base. Just adding adhesive behind the frame that we created. We will go ahead and tack this down. Lovely. My card wants to pop up, so I am going to use my tape runner and close it. I guess I need to reinforce this better with my bone folder. Okay, now we're I, for my greeting, and I do want to add a, a little bit of florals to my card today. So for that, I'm using the... Sending Sentiment Stamp Set and Coordinating Die. This was actually Spellbinders Clear Stamp and Die of the Month Club Kit for November. Spellbinders actually has this in their shop. You don't have to join the club to get it. It's a little bit more expensive than the club kit price, but it's a super nice stamp set. And then there's the Coordinating Die Set. Okay, now I also want to add some florals. And I have the Garden Wreath Add-On Set. Suzanne Hugh designed this and I love the florals in here. I'm going to take this and since we're doing ink blending, instead of using colored cardstock, I'm just going to use some white cardstock and I'm going to die cut out a flower and I'm trying to find one that kind of looks similar to this poppy and I think this one is going to work great for that. So these are layerable so I'm going to die cut out maybe four sets for this and then I'm also going to die cut out a leaf here. Um, maybe a sprig. We'll die cut out a little sprig and then these have little bare um, buds that you can add to it. So I'll die cut out some of these and then we'll stamp our greeting. I'm going to go ahead and use my VersaFine ink to stamp my greeting. I thought we'd just die cut out all at once. We'll just go ahead and stamp this. There's some sentiments too that you can add to this, like hello friend or hello love. So I think that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and line these up. I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine and then we will build some flowers for our stencil. While I was die cutting, I also die cut out one of the florals with vellum. And then also I used my Spellbinders pop-up foam to create a... Um, a little dimension to my greeting. I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind here and tack down my foam behind my greeting here. Sometimes it's easier to use the pop-up foam, but if you don't have pop-up foam, what you can do is just stack, die cut out maybe three or four pieces of white cardstock and layer them together to get a little bit more extra dimension. I created a couple flowers, but I wanted to show you how I did it. Um, I'm going to use just the ink that's over, left over on my blending brush, and I'm going to just go over my flowers. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to add a little dot of glue behind my flower here, and then I'm going to attack the vellum down. I just want to keep going with that light and airy look, so I'm offsetting it just a little bit. I'm bringing in a small foam square. I'm going to fit it right behind the flower, and then I'm going to layer this, fluffing up those petals over... 
so we have a little bit of dimension here. I'm going to add some of my onyx gems to the center of the flower here. And I think I'm going to go for three in the middle. My leaf here, usually you use green leaf, but I wanted to keep with the color, um, color family. So I'm just using my blue ink and adding a little color to my leaves, creating some blue leaves. And then we have our little one little bud on top of this flourish. I went ahead and already ink blended a purple bud for there. I have an extra one we'll put over here. So we have a few little extra flowers to go with our stenciled background. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some glue behind. Actually, I'm going to use my tape runner. Since Spellbinder's vellum is a little bit on the thinner side, tape runners seem to work better. And I think we're going to pop these up with some foam. Add another foam square behind here. And it's always to have, it's always good to have more than less. You could actually create another card with the with this. I think that's really pretty. But um, I'm gonna put these to the side and save those for another project. I think that's just the right amount. And then I'm gonna bring in some of my Spellbinders pink opalescent uh, confetti. I'm going to go ahead and add a few in the background, pulling out some or more of that pink. And that will finish my card today. Kind of a soft and subtle. So try stenciling over your vellum. I think it turns out really pretty. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a lovely day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.